Hey guys, Richie Stone Factory here. Uh, back with another collection update. So, you know why you're here. Let's get started. So, I picked up, uh, back in December or January, whichever. I, uh, pulled the trigger on finally getting a 4K player. So, naturally, I had to get some 4Ks. So, we've got the Akira. This is the limited edition or collector's edition. Whatever, however it's you know, described. 4K. And it comes with a book. It's got, you know, it's kind of all, not just two pages. All sorts of stuff in there. And then, obviously, we got the 4K. This is the 4K Blu-ray combo. Now, I did have to get a replacement disc because this still had, I bought this off of eBay. And it still had the uh, standard, or SDR, um, disc in it. So I had to contact Crunchyroll to get a replacement HDR disc. And they were still doing that. So, that was nice. <clears throat> and then I got Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. This is the standard edition Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And I picked up the re-release of the Fate Stay Night Complete Collection on Blu-ray. So I had been looking at getting it, but the, the, the previous set had been out of print for quite some time. It was on the expensive side, so I was just kind of, I was just waiting it out, and I got played off. So I got... Ghost in the Shell, standalone, or not standalone, just Ghost in the Shell. This is the 95 movie, uh, 4K Blu ray. This is the Best Buy Steelbook. Underneath is just oh my god. Hi Benny Remy, the complete series on Blu-ray. Disappointed that this never came with a slip cover from the very beginning. So that's kind Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. This is the Right Stuff or Crunchyroll Shop exclusive uh, Blu-ray DVD combo with a lenticular cover. Now uh, this is a, like a depth cover, so like you can see the um, Rika's not moving, but the ones in the back are. So that's kind of neat. Different artwork on the cover. And we got the DVD, Blu ray. Got a really cool like, wide shot kind of thing going on in the interior cover sheet. And then I also got uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Part 1, Standard Edition. Jujutsu Kaisen in the back down. <clears throat> there. 
Next up, we've got Lupin the Third Part 6, Complete Collection from Sentai Filmworks. So. That one, this three. Alright, and of course, I had to get Lupin the Third Castle Kayosho on 4K. Very tight 4K because I had to buy, because I had the DVD and Blu ray, I had to buy a three disc 4K case. And so this is what? This is the DVD, I think. Uh, four. No, this is the 4K right there. 4K. Not the DVD and the Blu ray that I already had. Came with this little insert mini poster, and of course, I had my uh, movie ticket when I went and saw it when I was in theaters. I'm gonna put the phone down for one second. I'm still here, there we go. Uh, put that there, put that back down there. Okay, then next up, we have Loop on the Third Swallowtail Tattoo. This is sub only. From discotheque, obviously. Just using the same artwork as usual. And then we got Lupin the Third Angel Tactics. Again, sub only. Movie poster type thing. Next up, we have some covers falling. Uh, Mushoku Tensei Season 1, Part 1. Or Part 2, I should say. Sorry. So the back of that is that one. And this one's got errors. That shot. Got uh, Princess Tutu, the complete collection or collector's edition steelbook. Uh, this was on sale on the Sentai shop, and I've been eyeballing it for a while. And so uh, it was about half price on Sentai shop, so I was like, why not? It's probably the cheapest I'll be going to see it. And this is a really tough book cover to get out, so I'm just gonna take that off real quick. Okay, so again. Really nice finish on the slip cover. Really nice look. Um, the actual steel book. So these have stuff behind it. You might recognize that image from the uh, previous Blu ray release. Mito. Fakir and Rue, and then Drosselmeyer on the back, on the last disc, and then my time on the back. Okay. Alright, so next up we have Space Adventure Cobra, again, 4K. Kind of sad that I didn't get the uh, square edge slipcover, but what are you going to do? This is the 4K, and then the DVD and the Blu-ray. Next up, we've got the Slime Diaries. And I just realized I'm wearing the shirt that I got from this. <laughs>
das Korn. All right, and next I've got Tomorrow's Joe, the movie. Surprise, I still got a square slipcover on both of these, actually. So I've got different artwork. That's the same. Okay, so this is a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. So it's got the DVD and... Blu-ray. The reverse is just the same that's on the slipcover. And then for Camaro 2, this is just Blu-ray. Again, it's just the shot from the slipcover, reversible artwork. And then next up we have Violet Evergarden, the movie. This is the standard edition 4K Blu-ray combo pack. There is also a limited edition and then a standard Blu-ray only. Uh, I have noticed that um, it still lists special features on the Blu-ray, which are just the TV spots and trailers. The special features are only on the 4K reads. Are only on the 4K disc. So the Blu-ray has no special features at all. We got different artwork on the cover sheet. So we got the Blu-ray and the and the 4K. And yeah, this one even has interior artwork on the cover sheet even though you can't see it and then i also upgraded weathering with you 4k blurry combo pack this is a standard edition blu-ray and 4k okay does this have anything underneath uh no So next up we have Bacano. This is novel 21, uh, 1935C, The Grateful Vet. And Bacano, volume 22, 1935D, Luck Street Boys. And now this is you know, the newest one that's been out in Japan. Uh, series is apparently on hold while he's doing... Uh, Ryoga Narita is, is still, like, doing stuff. He's doing the manga for, um, Dead Mount Death Play, which the anime is currently airing. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, next up we have My Hero Academia, Volume 33. And My Hero Academia, Volume 34. And we have One Punch Man, Volume 25. And we have Overlord Volume 15, The House Elf Demigod Part 1. Alright, so also in getting stuff uh, like recently, I bought a Switch back in March. And um, I'm going to show the, the anime type games or like the... But uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to include like all the games that I've gotten so far in the next uh, update video, or if I just stick to the ones that have like an anime, you know, presence like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All Star Battle R, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I don't know if you can even say this is anime because it was a game first, but I just included it just because. He's so cute. And, uh, Steins Gate Elite. And then I also got a Steins Gate watch 
from super groupies and when the time when the hands go to a certain certain times of the day the divergence meter there in the middle will show different timelines and uh when it goes to 420 it goes it shows the steins gate timeline so i thought that was really funny you know, picking 420 specifically and then i also picked up a well, Digimon Omega figure, Omega Mon figure. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'll leave, I'll leave the link for, I'll leave the, the link for it to write stuff in the description so you can find this exact one. The Steins Gate watch is out of stock or like it's sold out, so I'm gonna bother posting that one. All right, so that's it. Uh, this has been my collection update. Uh, if you like it, you know, leave a like, comment down below. Well, if you think I, if you like these, if you think I should do anything different, or you know, again, if I should post all the Switch games I've gotten so far, and I'll see you guys next time.